CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5 This is the chapter 3 part 1 page 34 How many squares On the page we have a picture with many dots a rectangular boundary is created by joining the outermost dots and within the dots, to the left corner of the top edge, we see a red square created by joining the four dots. Below the figure we have some questions. Measure the side of the red square on the dotted sheet. Draw here as many rectangles as possible using 12 such squares. How many rectangles could you make? Dash. Below the picture we see some kids exploring, thinking and doing the work by creating some red squares. One boy is thinking, whereas a girl and a boy are busy creating a pattern of red squares, one row on top of the other. And as they do this, the girl is happily cheering. Here's one. Each rectangle is made out of 12 equal squares, so all have the same area, but the length of the boundary will be different. On the right side, towards the bottom of the page, we see the picture of a bird. The bird is telling us, length of the boundary is called perimeter. Questions Which of these rectangles has the longest perimeter? Which of these rectangles has the smallest perimeter? Children are not expected to learn the definition of the term area, but develop a sense of the concept through suitable examples. Give them many opportunities in the classroom to compare things in terms of area and guess which is bigger. Things like stamps, leaves, footprints, walls of the classroom, etc. can be compared. Page 35 Measure Stamps On the top of the page, we have a grid-like structure in which we see the pictures of a number of stamps neatly arranged in different sides and corners of the figure. These stamps have been marked as A, B, C, D, E and F. Below the picture, we have some questions. Look at these interesting stamps. A. How many squares of one centimeter side does stamp A cover? Dash. And stamp B? Dash. To the right side of these questions, there is another bird which is telling us stamp D covers 12 squares. Each square is of side 1 cm, so the area of stamp D is 12 square centimeters. B. Which stamp has the biggest area? How many squares of side 1 cm does this stamp cover? How much is the area of the biggest stamp? Dash square centimeters. C. Which two stamps have the same area? Dash. How much is the area of each of these stamps? Dash square centimeters. D. The area of the smallest stamp is dash square centimeters. The difference between the area of the smallest and the biggest stamp is dash square centimeters. Collect some old stamps. Place them on the square grid and find their area and perimeter. Page 36 Guess A. Which has the bigger area? One of your footprints or the page of this book? B. Which has the smaller area? Two five rupee notes together? or a hundred rupee note. C. 
Look at a 10 rupee note. Is its area more than 100 square centimeters? D. Is the area of the blue shape more than the area of the yellow shape? Why? Below the question we see a blue and a yellow shape. Yellow shape is a combination of two triangles put together creating a rectangle. Whereas the blue shape is again formed by two triangles, but they are adjacent, so they form a bigger triangle. E. Is the perimeter of the yellow shape more than the perimeter of the blue shape? Why? How big is my hand? Trace your hand on the squared sheet on the next page. How will you decide whose hand is bigger? Your hand or your friend's hand? What is the area of your hand? Dash square centimeters. What is the area of your friend's hand? Dash square centimeters. Page 37. On top of this page we have a grid structure made by many squares. Below this, there is a picture. A boy and a girl are making their footprints on the sand below. The boy tells the girl, My footprint is longer. The girl responds by saying, But my footprint is wider. So, whose foot is bigger? My footprints. Question. Whose footprint is larger, yours or your friend's? How will you decide? Discuss. Is the area of both your footprints the same? Page 38 We have the picture of some animals and birds on top of the page. A baby rhino tells us, my skin has many, many folds, so I have a big area. This way the air all over me keeps me cool. An elephant is asking us, What is the area of my footprint? Next to it we have an ant asking us, What is the area of my footprint? A curious bird is looking at these animals on the right side. Guess which animal's footprint will have the same area as yours. Discuss. Here are some footprints of animals in actual sizes. Guess the area of their footprints. Below this we have the picture of a boy with a hen and next to it we see the footprint of hen in actual size. Below that, a girl is seen with a dog and to the right of that, we see the footprint of the dog in actual size. Page 39 On this page, we see a huge picture created by many square grids. On the top right corner, we see two boys peeping over and watching a tiger who is telling us Make big squares and rectangles like this to find the area faster. On the grid lines we see the footprint of the tiger in actual size. And his suggestion will be really helpful to find the area faster. For the teacher. At this stage, children need not count each square. Encourage them to identify the largest squares and rectangles within a footprint to know their area and then count small squares for irregular shapes. Though area of a rectangle will be done in Chapter 11, some children may discover themselves that they can find the area faster through multiplication. Part 1 The Chapter 3 ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production by Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT 
নিউ দিল্লি ইন্ডিয়া